well, 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 welcome to the Runners Connect Run to the Top Extra Kick Extra Kick Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Runners Connect Run to the Top Extra Kick Podcast. This is Coach Jeff with you here today on a Friday. I hope you are having a fantastic day and are excited for the weekend. Whether you have a long run plans or just some time with the family, I hope it's exciting. So before we get started with this question, I did want to take this time to talk a little bit about how we sponsor and how we allow the show to run five days a week, and that's with the sponsorship and the support of you. And by that, I mean we fully support this show with the support of you, our listeners. With your support, you'll also get access to amazing bonus content with new stuff added all the time. This includes access to things like our weekly live coach chats, 30-day weight loss program, marathon nutrition program, new and upcoming summits, discounts on essential running products, and much more. So basically, you can think of your pledge as a much-appreciated financial support to keep the show afloat and an all-access behind-the-scenes pass for tons of bonus content. As an example of some of the content we recently released, if you're suffering from an injury, we produced in-depth injury guides for almost every running injury. The guides come with a full treatment plan with exactly what to do each day of the week to treat and heal your injury. They're full rehab and prevention strength guides, foam rolling, active stretching, and aggressive treatment methods. Everything you need broken down with exactly how and when to do them each day of the week. Plus, you get a full three-week return to running plan. And that's just an example of one of the amazing guides and content that we have as part of the master's membership that comes with your support. So if you're interested in joining our incredible team of patrons, check it out at runnersconnect.net slash pledge. Your support goes a long way, and we really can't thank you enough. Thank you. Now, with that said, um, we do have a question from Asim. And Asim today asked, in the past three races, I haven't hit the proverbial wall, but I have encountered the terrible muscle cramps each race. During the recent, my most recent race, race, which was a marathon, I started experiencing cramping around mile 11. Coming off plantar fasciitis injury, I knew I was going to struggle as I didn't have a strong finish to my training session, but I also did not expect to blow up as hard as I did. What can I do to make my legs bulletproof from these cramps? More mileage, more hills, trail running, strength training. So Asim, thank you so much for the question. Um, This is very, very common. Um, It happens to a lot of runners. Uh, They experience cramps during the race and they just can't figure out what the cause is. And luckily, we actually do know what the cause is. And kind of as you alluded to in your question, uh, the cause is that your muscles are not able to handle the load that is required to run the full marathon distance at the pace that you are trying to run it at. And there's a couple reasons for that, or there's a couple things that happen. But specifically, or there's two things. One, it could be just in your case, you just don't have the training volume behind you. Like you said, you missed some time because of that plantar fasciitis injury. And therefore, your muscles do not have the training volume that is going to allow them to run the full marathon distance at your goal pace. So in your particular case, knowing that you didn't have the training volume behind you, you probably should have adjusted your goal uh, and slowed your pace down, your goal pace down significantly so that you could have got through the entire race. The marathon maybe even the half marathon, but the marathon in particular, we always like to say as coaches that there's no hiding any flaws in your training. If you had something in your training plan that did not go according to plan, uh, you missed a week or two or just didn't have a great buildup, then the marathon is going to bring that out. Um, Some of the shorter distances, 5K, 10K, half marathon, you can kind of, the the race is short enough where you can kind of hide or get away with not having a fantastic training uh, block. But in the marathon, Um, you need to be very wary of how your body's going to respond to missing training. So in your case, you really should have just slowed down your pace so that way you could have gotten through the whole race um, without suffering these cramps. Um, As a general rule, uh, the reason is, uh, or I should say the reason with the cramping, and we've talked about this on the daily podcast before, and we've also talked about it on our blog a lot, is that let's say that you did have a perfect buildup Um, because I know you're only talking about one case here and you said it's happened to you before. But let's say that you did have a perfect buildup and your training was really good heading into the race. Um, The reason that it's actually happening is you, during training, 
it's very difficult to simulate the exact stresses that are going to occur during the marathon. For example, you probably have not in training run 20, 22 miles at your goal marathon pace. That's very, it's not recommended because it's almost, it's very, very difficult to recover from and impacts your ability to do, uh, get in the mileage, the long runs and the workouts throughout the rest of the week if you do something that's that difficult. As a result, it's very difficult to train your muscles to sustain the effort that we're trying to ask of it later on in the race. And so what happens is your form starts to break down. Usually this happens for a couple reasons. So for example, um, your core might not be strong enough to stay in that um, upright, strong position for 22, 24, 25, 26 miles. So what happens is your core starts to break down and your posture starts to deteriorate. Maybe you start to hunch forward. And when you start to lean forward or hunch forward, what happens is you're not able to produce the same amount of hip extension or generate the same amount of power from your hips and glutes, which is where you normally do. And then as a result, your calf has to do more work in order to kind of keep yourself running at that same marathon pace. Your calf, as a result, is not used to doing so much work. You've never asked it to do that much work in training. You've never trained it to do that much work, and therefore it cramps. And this can happen in the hamstrings, it can happen in the quads, all for different biomechanical reasons. But that's basically what's what's happening, is that your muscles are being stressed in a way that you've never stressed them before, so therefore they are cramping. So the solution is a couple things. One, you definitely need to add strength training to your uh, training plan uh, because you need to train those muscles to be able to withstand that training load. Um, increasing your mileage, increasing your long runs, increasing your workout volume is going to help. But in some runners, we're kind of limited by that, right? Like if you're if you're already at your maximum miles a week that you can either handle or fit in time-wise, then that's not really a solution to become a better marathoner to reduce those cramps. So my recommendation is to do specific strength training exercises that are going to make sure that your form does not deteriorate and that we're actually stressing the right muscles that we're using later in the race. It's kind of hard to ex- how to explain how to do a lot of them just over a podcast, um, but I do recommend all you have to do is Google Runners Connect Marathon Cramps. And I did a whole video on kind of what the cause of this and then gave you some exercises. If you are also a Runners Connect insider, um, if you're not sure if you are or if you want to be, all you need to do is go to runnersconnect.net and either sign in if you're already a member or you'll usually see at runnersconnect.net a big kind of um, button to register as an insider. When you register as an insider, we do have a bunch of free courses. And so if you once you're in the insider member page, just go to courses And then there are four courses in there, and the one in particular that we're talking about is the Improve Running Form course. Um, It's completely free. It's three or four parts. All you do is watch the videos, and in those videos, I will will demonstrate and give you an exact routine to help prevent that marathon cramping. So I definitely recommend checking that out if you want to get a little bit more involved just beyond Googling the articles we have on our blog. The Runners Connect Insider is completely free. Um, So I definitely encourage you to check it out. And that will, again, it'll give you a three or four part course. And in that course, give you exact exercises and a routine that you can do to help prevent the marathon cramping. So I hope that helped answer your question and gave you not only the answers to your question about why it happened, but the resources for anyone who's suffering from marathon cramping to be able to find the solutions and actually create a, a, a solution to that problem that you're having. So I want to thank you so much for everybody for listening to me today. Um, I hope you had a chance to follow me throughout the week. Um, I do recommend that you also subscribe to the podcast in iTunes, Android, or whatever your favorite podcast catcher is. Um, because even if you, there's a question that you may not particularly have a lot of benefit from, I think that the way I think we try to answer the questions is answering the specific question, but then also giving background that can help everybody. And of course, if you subscribe, you can always skip over an episode if it's not something that you're interested in. So thank you so much for everybody listening this week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and have a great run today.